little dog. Mark my words, young lady. I'm going to see the sheriff. I'll get an order to confiscate that dog. No, you can't do that. Toto's a good dog. <laughs> He's a menace. Barking, chasing people, digging holes all over my property. I'll be back to get him. You'll see. <laughs> Auntie M, Auntie M, Mrs. Gulch is coming to take Toto away. She's going to the sheriff to get an order. Oh! There, there, Dorothy. Crying won't get you anywhere. What will we do? Well, I'm not sure. But don't you worry, we'll think of something. Let's keep an eye on Toto for now. Let me finish my work. There's a storm brewing. I can feel it. Oh, Toto, I love you, but you always cause such trouble. Maybe you and I should run away together to some place where there is no trouble. Some place far, far away, behind the moon. Beyond the rain. you did.
Auntie M, where are you? Oh! Oh, Toto! I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I know! We must be over the rainbow. Now oh, I know we're not in Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who? M me? I'm not a witch at all. My name is Dorothy from Kansas. Well, is that the witch then? <laughs> Toto? No, he's my dog. Well, now I'm befuddled. The Munchkins called me. They said a witch had come and killed a bad witch, and here you are. And there is all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh, my! Did I do that? Your home did, anyway. Remove the ruby slippers from her feet and put them on. Why? Because they are now yours. Ah, a perfect fit. Yes, they are beautiful. Who are you? I'm Glinda, the Witch of the North. You're a witch? I thought all witches were ugly. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Those are the munchkins, my dear. They live in this land. They're happy because you free them from the Wicked Witch of the East. It's all right. Come out and thank her. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young lady who fell from a star. She fell from the sky, she fell very far, and Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. She brings you good news, or haven't you heard? When she fell out of Kansas, a miracle occurred. Let the joyous news be spread, the wicked old witch at last is dead! <laughs> My sister! Was it you? No, I promise. It was an accident. Well, my pretty. Aren't you forgetting about the ruby slippers? The slippers! Yes. Where are they? You're too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me those slippers! Keep them on, Dorothy. Their magic is powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. Stay out of this, Glinda! And you best be gone before someone drops a house on you, too. <laughs> Very well. I'll go for now. But I'll be back for those slippers. I'll get you and your little dog, too! I'm afraid you've made an enemy, my dear. You'd better leave as quickly as you can. How do I get back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. Hmm. Then you must go to see the Wizard of Oz. He can help find your way home. He lives in the Emerald City. How do I get there? Just follow the yellow brick road. The munchkins will help you find the right path. And remember, never take off those slippers. Goodbye, my dear, and good luck. Now, what was it she said? Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road, okay, yeah. follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. You're out to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find he is a wizard, a wizard, never a wizard there was. In a federal ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, because, because. See you
yellow brick road. The yellow brick road? Um, but which way? Pardon me, miss, but that way. Who said that? You could go this way. Of course, some people go both ways. Oh, it's you. How can you talk? Hmm, I don't know. I haven't got a brain. Only straw. But some people without brains talk a lot, don't they? I guess so. It's boring being stuck up here all day. Hmm, maybe I can help. That's very kind of you. I'm not bright about doing things. But maybe if you could bend down that nail on the back? Yes, yes, I see. <sighs> see? Even the crows laugh at me. Oh, if I only had a brain. What would you do if you had one, Scarecrow? I could while away the hours, confer with the flowers, consult them with the rain. In my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking you could be a mother Lincoln if you only had a brain. Oh, I tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not be just a nothing. My head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. If I only had a brain. Well, if scarecrows back in Kansas could sing and dance like you do, they'd scare the crows away for sure. That's where I'm from, Kansas. I'm going to go see the Wizard of Oz so he can help me get back there. You're going to see a wizard? Do you think this wizard would give me some brains? Well, I don't know. We could ask. Oh, maybe you shouldn't come. Why not? There's a wicked witch after me. A witch? I'm not scared of witches. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, except a lighted match. If my straw got a light, oh, I shiver to think of it. I don't blame you. But I do have courage, honestly. I believe you. Let's go then. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard of a whiz, if ever a whiz there was. If ever, oh, ever a whiz there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of, of the wonderful, wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, what's that? Why, it's a man. A tin man. <laughs> is, is he talking? <laughs> I... I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
oil can. Did he say oil can? Oil his mouth so he can talk. <clears throat> oh, what a relief! What happened to you, Tin Man? Well, some time ago, I was chopping wood. When it began to rain, I I rusted solid. I've been stuck here ever since until you came along. Thank you. You're perfect now. No, I'm not. Sad to say, the tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart. No heart. It's a real problem. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart, I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me a balcony. Above a voice sings low. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet! Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. Oh, if I only had a heart. Oh, Tin Man, come with us. We're going to go see the Wizard in Emerald City. Maybe he could give you a heart. Do you think so? <laughs> well then, let's go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. from me. <laughs> there you are. Do you think that pitiful patchwork scarecrow, that relic of a rusty tin man, and that nasty little dog of yours can protect you? I assure you, the answer is no! I'm coming to get you, you little thief. Those ruby slippers are mine. I shall have them. <laughs> I want those shoes to establish just who is number one from the east to the west. Then I'll be complete with the world at my feet. 
and red always suited me best. I know I hold sway over all I survey, but I now need a much bigger deal. The shoes are the key to the making of me, so find her and bring her to heel. And now you. My monkeys, my darlings. I want that little girl and her mangy little dog. But most of all, I want my slippers. Now go, fly, fly. They terrify me. I don't like them at all. Who knows what's hiding in there? I think I'll run away. But I'm too p p p petrified. Shh. Boo! Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Aren't lions supposed to be ferocious and brave? I am so sorry. We didn't mean to frighten you. Did we, Scarecrow? Say you're sorry. What's there to be afraid of? He's a lion, king of the beast! Sorry. What is there to be afraid of, lion? You have no idea. These woods are haunted. Every time I think about it, I totally lose my nerve. Ah, I'm such a scaredy cat, I haven't any courage at all. To tell you the truth, I even scare myself. <laughs> Would it help to talk about it? We're good listeners, aren't we? Maybe. All right, then. Oh, no, I can't. I'm too nervous. Go ahead. Who knows? Maybe the wizard can help you, too. We're going to see him soon. But first, we have to know what's wrong. Yeah. What's the matter, Lion? Life is sad, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the vim and verve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the nerve. Oh, I'd be in my stride, a king down to the core. I could roar the way I've never roared before. And then I'd and roar some more. I would show the dinosaurus who's king around the forest, a king he better serve. I'd be brave as a blizzard I'd be gentle as a lizard I'd be clever as a gizzard If a wizard is a wizard who will serve Then I'm sure to get a brain, a heart, a home, the nerve We love to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz <laughs> see the wizard, are you? <laughs> I beg to differ. You're coming with me, girly. No. Go away, you wicked witch. How about a little fire, scarecrow? Your straw will burn so well. <laughs> no, no, not that. Get lost, you horrible hag. How about a little rain, tin man? I could rust you forever! No, no, not that. As for you, lion! <coughs> After them! Some friends. 
come with me now, or I promise you, Scarecrow will burn, Tin Man will rust, Lion will be scared to death, and your little dog? Oh no, you wouldn't hurt Toto, would you? Ho <laughs> ho wouldn't I? You'll never see him again, unless you do as I say. Onto the broomstick, now! Leave them, I have what I want. Follow me! <laughs> She's taken Dorothy, what do we do now? I don't know. Neither do I. We need a plan. It's all gone to rack and ruin, cause we don't know what we're doing. It's all gone down the pan. No! It has. Things would be less distressful and we might be more successful if we only had a plan. Bet the witch would make a beeline for a scarecrow and a feline and an overgrown tin can. That's all I am. Oh, you're more than that. But I feel such a coward, I'd be easily overpowered if we only had a plan. But we haven't. So... Look, there's Toto. Toto! He's come to take us to Dorothy! Now, wretched girl, give me those ruby slippers. No. Glinda, the good witch of the north, told me they were mine. She said not to take them off. Ever. What does she know? Nothing! They're no use to you. I'm asking you one more time. Will you give me those slippers? No. I already told you. Well, fine. You'll stay here, then. Locked in this room until you do. That's what she thinks. I'm going to escape. Locked. This door is locked, too. Hmm. No windows. I'm trapped. <sighs> Oh, now what am I going to do? How I miss Auntie M. There's no place like home. If only I could go there now. That's the castle of the Wicked Witch? I thought so. Lion, this is no time to be cowardly. We must find Dorothy and rescue her. 
We've got to get her out of this awful place. Well, we better make sure she's in there first. Dorothy, Dorothy, are you there? It's us. Shh. What if the witch hears ya? Yes, I'm here, up the stairs. The witch has locked me in. Hurry, we've got no time to lose. Stand back, everyone. This is a job for Tin Man. I'm good at picking locks, you know. I knew you'd come. Thank you. Toto, I'm so glad to see you. Shh! We must hurry before the guards come back. <laughs> I wouldn't hear of it. My little party's just beginning. I'll take care of each of you one by one. Then I will pull the slippers from your feet, wretched girl. Scarecrow, you first. How about a little fire? Don't you dare hurt my friends, you mean, wicked, terrible witch. <laughs> Call ah! off your dog or I'll scratch him! Don't you hurt Toto either! Stop that, cursed brat! Stop! Stop! Ah! Look what you've done, you dastardly duo! I dropped my torch! Oh! 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 I'm on fire! Help me! What should I do? Stand back! The fire is too hot! No one can save her now! She's gone. All that's left is her broom. Hail! Dorothy, hail! Hail! Oh, oh courageous canine companion. <laughs> Take the broom. It's your proof that you've overcome the wicked witch of the West. Thank you, thank you for saving us from her cruelty. Please. Take this castle as your new home. We'll be your servants now. Oh, no. I don't want a castle with servants. My friends and I are going to see the Wizard of Oz. I free you to go wherever you want. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shall we go? Forward. Now I'm really afraid. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Who are you? Who are you? If you please, sir, I'm D Dorothy from Kansas. 
We've come to ask you... Silence! 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 The great and powerful Oz knows why you have come. Scarecrow, you come to me for a brain. Yes, your honor. I'm, I'm, I mean, your excellency. Tin Man, you come to me for a heart. Yes, your wizardry. Lion, you come to me for courage because you have no nerve. Isn't that so? Well? Well? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, frightening him like that when he came to you for help. Silence, whippersnapper! The beneficent Oz intends to grant your requests. You do? Why, that's wonderful. But first, you must prove yourselves worthy by performing a heroic act for which I require proof. Go until you can demonstrate your worthiness. Sir, we have already done such a task. You, you have? Why should I take your word for it? Do you have proof? The Wicked Witch of the West is no more. We present you with her broom. Why, indeed, to confront such an adversary shows great courage. I will give your request some thought. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. The great Oz has spoken. Go away. Stop that. Put that curtain back. Who are you? I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. <gasps> I don't believe you. I'm afraid it's true. There is no other wizard except me. You humbug! Yeah. yeah. Yes, you're right. I am a humbug. An imposter. You're a very bad man. No, my dear, I'm just a very bad wizard. But, but what about my brains? My heart? My courage. How will Toto and I ever get back home to Kansas? L let me think. If I put my mind to it, I may be able to help in some small way. Scarecrow, I've known some great thinkers in the halls of learning that have no more brains than you do. But they have one thing you haven't got. What's that? A diploma. Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Yes, that's Doctor of Thinkology. How can I ever thank you enough? Well, I suppose you can't, but don't worry. As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. There are many good deed doers whose hearts are no bigger than yours, but they have one thing you haven't got. What's that? A testimonial. This is it. In consideration of your kindness, I take pleasure in presenting you with a small token of our esteem and affection. Here is your testimonial. Oh, listen. It ticks. Just like a real heart. Thank you. As for you, my furry friend, just because you run away from danger doesn't mean you have no courage. Why, I know heroes who have no more nerve than you do. But they have one thing you haven't got. What's that? A medal. Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, and conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Read what my medal says. Courage. I'm speechless. What well, what about Dorothy? Yeah, she's next. I don't think there's anything in that cupboard for me. You force me into a cataclysmic decision. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. Will you? Could you? 
Are you a clever enough wizard to manage it? Of course I am. I was the premier balloonist for the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company. Once, when doing spectacular stratospheric feats, the balloon failed to return to the fair. The wind changed, and I floated down into the heart of this emerald city, where I was instantly acclaimed the Wizard of Oz. Times being what they were, I accepted the job, retaining my balloon against the advent of a quick getaway. It is in that balloon, Dorothy, that you and I will return to Kansas. Come with me. We shall go at once. Attention, please! I, your wizard, am about to embark upon a hazardous journey into the outer stratosphere to confer, converse, and otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. I hereby decree that until such time that I return, if at all, the Scarecrow, by virtue of his high superior brains, shall rule in my stead, assisted by the Tin Man, by virtue of his magnificent heart, and the lion, by virtue of his courage. Obey them as you would me. <laughs> Follow me, my dear. Our departure is imminent. Jump in, Toto. We're ready to go home. <coughs> oh, no! Hurry, Dorothy. I can't hold this balloon much longer. I won't leave Toto behind. Toto! Toto! I can't! The truth is, I don't know how this balloon works! I'm sorry, Dorothy! Goodbye, folks! Bye. Now I'll never go home. Stay with us then, Dorothy! We all love you. We don't want you to go. That's very kind of you, but I must get home to Kansas. Auntie M must wonder what's happened to me. Scarecrow, what am I going to do? Look, here's someone who can help you. Please, Glinda. I'm so lost. I want to go home. My dear, you think you're lost, but that's not true. You simply lived a dream or two. You traveled all this way to find. Your home behind Home is a place in your heart Every journey leads you back to where you start Close your eyes, it's very easy You'll find that you're My dear, you've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I have? Why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? I think that it wasn't enough just to want to see Auntie M. I needed to learn that when I seek my heart's desire, I don't need to look any further than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, it isn't anywhere. May I go home now? 
Those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto too? Yes. Are you ready? It's so hard to say goodbye. I love you all. Close your eyes. Tap your heels together three times and say, There's no place like home. There's no place like home. One. There's no place like home. Two. There's no place like home. Three. like home there's no place like home there's no place like home Dorothy Dorothy dear it's Aunt Em darling wake up it is you I thought I'd never see you again the storm has passed but one of the windows blew in it's left you with quite a bump on your head oh Auntie Em I was in a place over the rainbow it was a dream dear no, it was real. Most of it was beautiful, but all the same, I just kept saying to everyone, I want to go home, I want to go home, and here I am. That's lovely, dear. Don't you believe me? Of course. Of course I do. I'm so glad you'll return to me. Toto, we're home. Home. <coughs> I'm not going to leave here ever, ever again, because, Auntie Em, there's no place like home. I know, dear. Welcome home. <laughs>